packing cubes. Total travel game changers. But with thousands out there on the market, which are actually worth the money. Well, I've done the research for you in this overly dramatic video with a packing cube showdown that nobody asked for. So, which packing cubes are the best? Which are best value for money? And why am I talking like a bachelor promo? Find out in this video and even win a set for yourself. Now let's hit that cheesy intro. What's up Smarties, Christina here from happytowonder.com and today we are talking all about packing cubes, the most magical piece of gear that help you travel, pack and organize like a total pro. In today's video I am going to be breaking down my personal favorites in terms of packing cubes over the past six months of testing them very aggressively. So if you enjoy that kind of dedication in your life and you want more videos just like this one, be sure to give this video a like first of all and hit that subscribe button for more. Now before we get started, I do have a postcard to give away because one of the things I love to do is give away a postcard every week to someone who comments. Hint, hint, please comment. So congratulations to Michaela from last week for winning this week's postcard. Now because we are talking all about packing cubes today, I'm going to up the ante a little bit and also throw in a set of packing cubes of your choice. So be sure to comment below with your favorite packing cubes from this video and I will randomly draw a winner to receive them next week along with a postcard because postcards are really fun. Anyways, let's get ready to a packing cube rumble. Oh man, that was so much cooler in my head. Anyways, let's just get started. So here's a little backstory for you. About six months ago, I guess I was feeling a little bit spendy. It was Amazon Prime Day and I decided, hey, why not buy a bunch of packing cubes and test them out so I can actually report back to you guys and let you know which ones are the best. See, nowadays packing cube choice is pretty overwhelming. There are literally thousands of brands out there that sell packing cubes that all kind of look the same. You can get ones that have puppies on them, you can get ones with avocados on them, you can even get ones with skulls, actual skulls. So what I did was I picked the top six rated ones on amazon.ca, bought them, ordered them, and have been testing them for the past six months. Here are the ones that I tested. The Eagle Creek Packet Cubes, the Eagle Creek Spectre Compression Cubes, the Begale Packing Cubes in Fuchsia, the Gonex Packing Cubes in Green, the Gonex Compression Pouches in Yellow, and the Medium Amazon Basics in Black. So let's get started. We are gonna start with compression cubes. So if you didn't know this already, there are two main types of packing cubes in the packing cube world. Okay, so the first ones are the regular standard ones, which are basically just little zippered cubbies for your clothes. So they tend to have just one layer of zippers, whereas on the other hand, there are compression cubes. And compression cubes tend to have two layers of zippers so they can compress and further just squish down your clothes to save more space. So which ones are better? Totally depend on your travel style and your needs. For me personally, because my priority with packing cubes is being able to have everything I own at my fingertips, being able to see what I've brought, um, personally, the regular packing cubes are way better for me. On the other hand though, with the compression cubes, if your priority is saving space, maybe you want to squish down a really big jacket or a really big sleeping bag, um, compression cubes are really great for that. One thing I would warn against though is that compression cubes do not make your suitcase any lighter, okay? So be sure to still keep in mind, even when you're using compression packing cubes, that there are luggage weight restrictions and so you shouldn't just use them to stuff as much clothing as possible. So keep that in mind. All right, so in terms of the compression packing cubes, what I've purchased are two of the top rated ones. Firstly, let's get them out of the way. <laughs> so I've purchased two of the top rated ones. Firstly, the Eagle Creek ones, um, the Eagle Creek Spectre compression cubes, and also the Gonex compression packing cubes, which look like this. So I will review the pros and cons of each one, starting with the one from Eagle Creek. In terms of pros, these Eagle Creek compression cubes are very, very light probably the lightest out of all the ones I bought. So this would be great if you're backpacking and in need of a lightweight solution. But they're still really well built and like new even after six months. Plus they also compress clothes really well and with their double zip, they're very satisfying to use. Overall, these are a great quality product. There are some cons though. These compression cubes are more expensive than most I also don't love that they don't open all the way, they actually only open halfway and so you can't really use them like mini drawers for your stuff, which is half the reason I love packing cubes in the first place. Now on the other hand, we have the Gonex packing cubes which are completely different. So here are the pros and cons of that one. 
In terms of pros, they're really affordable and do open up all the way like a regular packing cube, just with a second zip for compression. They also come in a large range of sizes and have a much larger color selection than the Eagle Creek ones. In terms of cons though, it doesn't really compress as much as I feel like the Eagle Creek ones do, and they're also a bit heavier than the Eagle Creek ones. So in summary, if you're looking for something that is very lightweight and something that is going to be really durable long term, I do recommend the Eagle Creek Spectre compression cubes. They're very high quality. On the other hand, if you're looking for something a bit more like a conventional packing cube, um, but does have slight compression ability, then I'd go with the Gonex. Now, as I mentioned before, my personal preference with packing cubes is the non-compression ones. So with those ones, I actually purchased four different brands. Now let's see how they stack up. All right, so why don't we start with my least favorite, which was unfortunately the Amazon Basics in black, the medium packing cube, because unfortunately, as you see here, it ripped within one week. Here are the pros and cons. So in terms of pros, these packing cubes are highly affordable. The material is decently sturdy and it holds up its shape well when stuffed with clothes. The zippers are also quite smooth and they come in some nice colors including sky blue, mint green, red and grey. But there are some significant cons. Over the past six months, as you can see, there has been quite a bit of wear and tear, some fraying as you can see here, and even though it still works fine, it's just not very promising in terms of durability. So I wouldn't really recommend these since they can seem to handle my gorilla enthusiasm. Now, if you're looking for something that is still budget friendly, but is actually, in my opinion, better quality, and in some instances cheaper, I would go for the Gonex packing cubes right here. I got mine in lime green, but they also come in a lot of other really fun colors. In terms of pros, they're cheap, very, very cheap, but the quality is still pretty decent. The fabric here feels very durable, like a good raincoat, very water resistant, but still with a nice mesh top so you can see most of what you've packed. They also offer a lot of really great bundle options and colors, so it's easy to find a set that would match your needs. In terms of cons, I do think with the red tag and its branding, this packing cube set can look a little bit cheap. It's not exactly super fashionable or chic in any way, but I mean, it does the job. It's also a small pet peeve of mine, but the zippers just don't feel as smooth as some of the other ones. As you can see, they're quite small, there's no special tabs, and they do feel like a little bit jammed sometimes. Overall though, great budget-friendly packing cube with nice, nice colors. Another great one that I'd really recommend are the Begale packing cubes, which look like this. I got mine in fuchsia, and as you can see, they're quite pretty. So in terms of the pros, I just love the look of these. The design is a bit different from most standard packing cubes, and they just look really nice when they're all arranged in your suitcase. There's also a great color and print selection, so if you're looking for something a bit more chic, something a bit more fashionable or cute, you can get different patterns like ones lined with polka dots or prettier colors like teal, purple, and pink. They're also incredibly sturdy with thick fabric, which feels more robust than Amazon Basics, for example, and also a few centimeters deeper than the other cubes, which is great if you need more space for your clothes. I also love these pulley zippers, which are really easy to grab hold of, and most of their sets actually come with a free laundry bag, which is a great bonus. As for cons though, the sizing and bundling of these cubes is interesting. Most of the sets I found all came with at least one of these giant ones, which is not super practical for normal travels since they can take up like 90% of a carry-on suitcase. Another con is depending on how you feel about nylon, the fabric of these cubes can feel a little bit cheap, but they still hold up really, really well, apart from a little bit of fraying, which I did begin to notice after about six months of frequent use. Now, what are my top picks? Unsurprisingly, they are the most expensive ones, and those would be the Eagle Creek. That was awkward. It's the Eagle Creek Packet Cubes. I got mine in blue. As for pros, these packing cubes just have a smart look and feel. The fabric is really strong and durable without feeling too slippery or cheap like some of the other budget ones. The full cube size is also really perfect for my needs because they stack nicely into a carry on and hold their shape really well. It's also really, really durable and looks as good as brand new after six months of use, which can't really be said for some of the cheaper ones I bought. In terms of cons though, well, the price tag is a little bit more than most standard packing cubes, and they are of course the priciest of the bunch, averaging about $10 per cube, but 
honestly, they are more than worth it for me because I travel really often. And in terms of quality, you can feel like these ones have more structural integrity and just don't feel as flimsy or cheap as some of the budget ones. So you can kind of expect that it'll last longer. So overall, what I would say is if you are looking for a very high quality packing cube that is gonna be durable, I mean, look at this Eagle Creek one. It looks like it's brand new and I've been using them aggressively for six months. So if you're willing to pay a little bit extra, go for these ones, especially if you travel a lot. But what I will honestly say is that having any kind of packing cube is better than having none at all. Um, if you don't travel super often and you take quite good care of your stuff, as in you're not like me and like gorilla handling everything, well, then you can honestly go for whatever suits your budget best. My first set of packing cubes was from Ikea Family for like less than 20 bucks and I had used them for three years and they are still very much standing today. So. What's important is that you find something that really works for you and having the best brand possible is not actually that important, especially if you don't travel that often. But in my personal opinion, if you're gonna spend a little bit extra, it is worth it because long-term you do get a lot more usage out of it. All right, Smarties, which one of these would you most like to have in your possession? Let me know in the comments below which one of these was your favorite for a chance to win your own personal set and a postcard. Anyways, thanks for watching Smarties. I will let you know next week who won these packing cubes and uh, be sure to tune in next week for more videos just like this one. Until then, bye.